at least one or two may this may have stuck with you. For others, I don't know. All right, number one is a trick question. Please do not blow it. Number one, who was the high priest of Israel during the wilderness wandering? Who was the high... Yes, she's laughing because she sees the trick in it. Who was the high priest of Israel during the wilderness wandering? Number two, to what other structure should the wilderness sanctuary be related? To what other structure should the wilderness sanctuary be related? That's right. Don't let that guy get away without putting something on that sheet of paper. No can do, John. No can. Somebody give him a pen. Any, any troublemaker. No can do, John. Yes, that's right. Any troublemaker deserves all the help they can get to see what how they're doing here. Let's see. Number three. I'm about to leave the frame of the picture here. That's all right. He's busy writing. Number three, I'm going to write some places from south to north. You tell me what priestly family was there. Mm -hmm. A is Arad, A-R-A-D, uh, still there. B is Hebron. I hope these names don't sound familiar to you. Uh, unfamiliar to you. We went through them last time. These are places that still exist. C is Jerusalem. D, Bethel. I'm going from south to north to make this easy. E, Shiloh. And uh, F, Dan. All right. So you can just look there when you want to finish that question. Now I'm going to number four. To what priestly family do we relate the following persons? Oh, this is like the last one. A. Gershom. B. Phineas. C. Jael. D. Ezekiel. E. Jeremiah. I wanted to put Daniel down as F just to see if any of you figured out that Daniel was not from a priestly family. But that was too tricky. Five. Five. Who were King David's high priests? Who were King David's high priests? And, you can see this coming, and to what family did each belong? They've been David's high priests now for 30 centuries, so... This is something that you ought to have caught on by now. After 30 centuries, we ought to know this. Who were King David's high priests and to what priestly families did they belong? Six, to what Canaanite deity is the sanctuary in the wilderness most closely related? That's easy. That's real easy. To what Canaanite deity is the sanctuary in the wilderness most closely related? Seven. Oh, this is too easy. Which priestly family won the struggle for control of, of Israel's religious heritage? Which priestly family won the struggle for control of Israel's religious heritage? And from what city did they rule? Eight. What did the founding of a temple indicate? What did the founding of a temple indicate? Nine and ten, two more easy ones. What book of the Pentateuch? That's the first five books. What book of the Pentateuch 
comes almost entirely from Aaron's family. What book of the Pentateuch comes almost entirely from Aaron's family? And 10 is predictable, therefore. What book of the Pentateuch comes entirely from Moses' family? Oh, that was too easy. Well, I know what questions you missed. I know you know the answers to these. Number one was, who was the high priest of Israel during the wilderness wandering? Two, to what other structure should we relate the wilderness sanctuary? Three, to what priestly families do these places belong? And four, to what priestly family do these persons belong? And then you came in at five, David's high priest. Does anybody have a question? No? Let me know it when you're done. Or gave up, whichever the case may have been. All right, you can bring the bring the camera back over here to me, and let's put the. the all right, let's do this now. What was the trick in number one? Who was the high priest of Israel during the wilderness wandering? What's the answer? Well, if you're Moses' descendants, the answer is Moses. And if you're Aaron's descendants, the answer is Aaron. So how should the answer have been written? Moses and Aaron. Two. <laughs> to what other structure should we relate the wilderness sanctuary? You should have thought of two. I hope you can think of two. What two? Ten outside the camp. Well, that would be three. That isn't what I was thinking of. I wouldn't think of Baal's temple. I would think of El's tent. Yes. And can you think of some other things, historical things? How about David's tent and Solomon's temple? Okay. <laughs> Did anybody get these right? Let's see. To what priestly family do these places belong? In the south now. Arad. Mushite or Aaronite? Which is it? Mushite, of course. Yes. Hebron. This is easy. The Hebronites put David on the throne. Which family? Aaron. Moses or Aaron? Aaronite. Yes. Jerusalem. That's a trick. That's a trick. Jerusalem is a trick. What's the answer? Both. D. Bethel. Moses? Oh, help. Bethel with the calf temple? Descended from Aaron's calf? Uh, with the old, the bull of. El the bull? With the. Uh, Covenant to with Jacob, Israel? Yes, Bethel, Bethel, Bethel is what? Aaronite. Shiloh. That's easy. Which which is that? Shiloh. Where the sanctuary was, Shiloh. Moses, Mushite, yes. House of Eli, destroyed. Mushite. Dan. Look, the other royal temple. If Bethel is Aaronite, then Dan's got to be Mushite. Yes. To what priestly family do we relate these persons? Gershom. Moses. Phineas. Aaron, of course. Jael. Moses. Yes. Ezekiel. Aaron. Jeremiah. Moses. Okay, who were David's high priests and to what family did each belong? Can you name them? Yes, Abiathar was Mushite. Look, if you can't see the name Jethro and Abiathar, we're, we're in trouble. Right? Yeah, oh, now you know his name. His father was Jethro, right? 
J-E-H-R. And, and Jethro, by now, we related to who? To Moses, yes. Yes, Abiathar, of course, is Moses, and Zadok is Aaron. To what Canaanite deity is the sanctuary most closely related? Well, that's easy. That's L because of the ten of L. Which priestly family won the struggle for control of Israel's religious heritage? Oh, that's easy. Well, let's go in here next Sabbath, and we'll ask the folks in Sabbath school class, who was the high priest of Israel during the Exodus? And 100% of the people will say what? Yeah. We'll say Aaron. And if we said that's half true, we would disconcert 100% of the people, right? Aaron's family's victory was complete. Right? It's complete. In because fact, of what? Because of Eli. Because of Eli, right? Because the, because in Abiathar, his descendant, and being banished, and yes. And uh, even between Jeremiah and Ezekiel, which one won the day? Jeremiah was rejected and Ezekiel was accepted. Even in their own time. The family of Aaron won. How ironic. Because it didn't start out looking that way, did it? All right. And there, as I say, their, their uh, victory was total. What did the founding of the temple indicate? Oh, I hope everyone got this by now. Please. The beginning of an eternal monarchy. Whether it's Baal's or David's or anybody's. What book of the Pentateuch comes from Aaron's family? Oh, that's easy. Leviticus. And what book comes from Moses' family? Deuteronomy. Yes. 